Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Uh, last time I left off I showed you guys how to make your very own first person input controller script and I did say I would make that using the rigid body as well but for now I'm just gonna leave that out because today we're gonna work on our gun I mean it's been sitting there doing nothing for the past couple of tutorials I mean at least let's get it shooting or something so today Today's tutorial is all about making a gun shoot and it's going to be using one of the basic ways using Raycast and let's start well the first thing you want is a new object in front of the gun which the ray is going to shoot out from so let's create a new game object and let's create a, a cube that'll be fine oh perfect placement just gonna place it right here. That seems to be okay. I'm gonna rename this to Ray Point. And I'm gonna drag this as the main object of the camera. Um, I don't want it to be visible, so I'm gonna delete the mesh renderer. There we go. Let's drag it in here. Perfect. Save your scene. Right click on your script folder and create a new JavaScript. Uh, name this to whatever you like. It could be your shooting script. I'm just going to call mine Ray Shoot. Double click and open this in Mono Develop. Okay. Well, the first thing we want is to define the variables needed for our ray cast. So, I need a range, and that's going to define how long the ray cast line is going to be. So, var range. So, we type float, and I'm going to set it as a thousand for now. And I also need. A force variable and I'll explain after why we need this war force so we type float and I'm gonna give it a value of a thousand as well now I need force because it's gonna be a major part in our raycast basically if our raycast collides with something that has a rigid body on it we want the force to take action and push the rigid body according to the force which is a thousand so it's going to move it it's going to move our rigid bodies and in this case if you go back to unity it's my um, simple cubes if I can find them right here you can see they contain a rigid body as soon as they get hit by the raycast the force is going to take action and move them let's go back into our script and I don't know why I've got mono developer open twice close this one there we go okay we're not going to use the update function just yet so let's just leave that uh, for now that's the only two variables I really want to create because first we're just going to focus on the raycast itself and then we're going to get on to make the gun shoot so let's create a new function function and uh, let's call this ray shoot or you can call, call it whatever you like uh, ray shoot open bracket close bracket open curly brace close the line perfect and what do we want to do first of all we're going to define a hit variable and I explain this one right down so var hit and it's going to be a type ray cast hit now the reason we need this is to check if our ray has hit something and if it has hit a rigid body, then we're going to call the force. Otherwise, we can't just 
say if the brake car has touched something just add the force and you need to make sure it's hitting something first and the next one we need is a far direction bray it's going to be equals to transform dot direction transform direction sorry open bracket vector free dot forward now we need this because we're telling the raycast to go in the forward direction so in the z-axis only not on the up or the down or left and right just straight because we want to find out if there's anything in front of us and if there is the raycast will pick it up now let's create the raycast so in the if statement first of all if open bracket physics now Raycast is a member of the physics in <coughs> dot Raycast open bracket we want to assign our transform first transform position so transform dot position and the direction the Raycast is going in and that's going to be equals to direction ray That's strange, you know it shows up, I hate this sometimes. Direction ray. And then we're, we're gonna check if we hit something. So we're gonna use our hit variable we created above. So hit. How long the line's gonna be. And that's gonna be equal to our range we defined above. So range. Oops, sorry. Close bracket, twice open curly brace and close curly brace now we forgot the race setup but the problem is if I put it in the update function as input input function so if we say if I press the mouse button down it will make the ray but the problem is in order for us to see that it works we need to tell the script to show us the ray because if I just press the key it's not going to show us at all the raycast line because it's not um, debugged yet so we need to do that first so debug dot draw ray so we're telling you to draw the ray line that we have just created here it's going to be our from our transform position dot position and it's going to be facing our direction ray and it's going to be times by our range how long the line should be shown and the color of the line is going to be well you can choose whatever you like I'm just going to keep it as a uh, what color do we have a nice blue there we go so let's see if this works let's create a new input over here in our update function so if open bracket input dot get key open bracket key code dot f i'm going to use for fire but i might change it later on you can use keyboard if you want as well open bracket close bracket and in this we're just going to call ray shoot Save that off. Go into Unity. Oh, looks like I forgot to send the code on again. Don't know why it's opening my develop again. That's a bit strange. Save that there. Back into Unity. It should get rid of the error. I guess not. Another one shows up. Oh, sorry, no. It's capital H I put. Save that. And now it should be gone. Yeah. Now, if I go back to my gun or main player, 
It's gonna focus on him. And I'm gonna keep an eye on the, on the gun, nothing else. Just front part of the gun, right here. And if I press the F key, you're gonna see it's gonna shoot our array line. So let's run this game. Oh, I forgot to attach the script. Uh, attach your script to the array point. There it is. Now run it. When you press the F, there it is. That's the array. But the problem is, if we go next to any object that contains a rigid body, and we shoot this ray, it's going to take no action. It's going to be doing nothing. Like so. So what we want to do is we want to find out if our hit variable has hit something, apply the force we made above to a rigid body. So go back into model develop and we want to say if open bracket hit dot rigid body. So if our hit variable has hit a rigid body, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace, hit dot rigid body dot add force at position open bracket we're gonna add force to our direction ray position and we're gonna times it by force so we're adding force to I to our ray's direction and we want this direction to occur at the hit point so hit dot point close that save it off now basically hit point I'll explain when we go back into unity let's just update okay run the um, run the game hit point is basically the end of the ray so if you look that's oh, a bit too big I'll step a bit back If I can see myself again, there we go. If you have a look at the ray, you see at the very end there's nothing there. That's the hit point. As soon as that point hits something, it's gonna add the force. So let's go and check on the loot cubes we made. Now this cube, if I hit it, if the ray cast hits it, it's gonna add the force. There we go. See the force taking action. Because the ray cast has hit something. Good. Save your scene. Now, the thing that's very basic I mean, there's infinite time you can keep pressing that, and there's no ammo. So, let's stop making this into an extra gun now where we have bullets and a reload system. So, we need two, uh, three new functions actually. Let's create a function reload, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close that off. We also want a function play um, shoot audio open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace. Now you want to copy this again, and you want to rename this one to reload audio. Save that. Actually, we do need another function as well on the very top function start we need to start this time open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace now we're going to start defining some more variables which we really do need this time <clears throat> okay the first one is clips var clip it's going to be a type integer and it's going to be equals to 20 now this is basically saying how many clips we have but the thing is how do we know how many bullets we have in a clip so we need to find that next so var bullets per clip is a type integer and it's going to be equals to 60 for me so I'm saying every clip contains 60 bullets <coughs> We also need reload time. So var reload reload time. Sorry, uh, it's gonna be a t 
type float. No, integer actually, I don't want no decimal points. So integer. And I'm gonna leave it as, no, actually I do want a float. Float. And it's gonna be equal to 3.3 for me. I'll explain why I've left it at 3.3. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, the next one we need is bullets left, before bullet it's left. It's going to be a type integer and it's going to be equals to zero. Now the reason we need bullet left is, is to find out the bullets we got left from our clip. And the next one we need is the sh uh, shoot timer. Now I'll, I'll explain this near to the end because that's when I'm going to use these. So for shoot timer, <clears throat> it's going to be a type float. And it's going to be equals to zero. We also need a var shoot cooler. probably thinking what the hell is this for but trust me it makes a lot of sense afterwards it's gonna be a type float and I'm gonna set it as a 0 0.09 or 0 0.9 <clears throat> okay and we also need two last variables it's public for shoot audio It's going to be a type audio clip and public var reload audio. And that's going to be a type audio clip as well. Right, we've got the main variables we need.